Want to try out TikTok ads? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your first TikTok dropshipping ad up and running in just 15 minutes. What's popping, people? It's your boy, the Beast of Ecom, and I am back with another video dropping nothing but you already know value bombs. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your first dropshipping TikTok ads up and running in just 15 minutes. I'm going to be taking you through the whole process from A to Z. So by watching this video, you're going to have your first TikTok ads live on the platform in a matter of minutes. If this is the first time ever watching one of my videos, then welcome, I drop weekly videos showing you how you can make more money with your e-commerce dropshipping stores. Now for everyone watching this video, if you get some value from it, if you could drop a like on this video, it will help the channel, help the video, and give the algorithm some love. And second of all, if you could drop a comment down below, I will be replying to as many comments as I possibly can, whether it be a question or just a simple comment for the algorithm. I do see familiar phrases, so I do appreciate that. So drop a comment down below. Finally, if you are not subscribed to the channel, smash that button with the notification bell on so that you stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that is it. Let's jump straight into this video and launch this TikTok ad. Okay, so the first decision you need to make is what country do you want to sell in? Uh, because with TikTok, it's not like Facebook where you can target absolutely everywhere and every country is available. Um, depending on where you are located and where you open your TikTok account, only certain countries are available. So with me here being in United Kingdom, you can see here, these are all the countries I can target, but United States and Canada isn't on this list. Whereas if I open up a US account, Canada is and US is, but United Kingdom isn't. Now, uh, again, it, it's gonna depend where you want to target. Um, if you've got a US store, then I recommend setting up a US States account. Now you may be wondering, okay, great. How on earth do I get a US account? Well, what you have to do is you have to open up a VPN or use a VPN service to be able to um, get access to this. So what I use is NordVPN. I'll put a link, I'll put a link or, or screenshot on. Basically just use NordVPN. You could probably get a free one somewhere. Uh, register using that. So it looks like you're coming and registering from the US and then you'll be able to get your US account that way. So the second thing you need to do is sign up for an account. I'm not gonna go through the whole process. It's fairly easy and straightforward to do. And then you just literally just go through the process and sign up your account. Now, once you've actually signed up your account, okay, it will look something similar to this, okay? This is what the home page will look like. Your dashboard will look something similar to this, right? And this is just gives you an overall of the uh, your campaigns and how they're performing, right? Now, the second thing you need, the third thing, sorry, that you need to do now is set up a pixel. So what you want to do is click on assets and you want to click on events, right? Now, once you've done this, I've already set up a, uh, a test one, um, but you want to go click on manage website pixel. Okay. And uh, once you've done that, you can see I've already created a, uh, a fake one just for this old store. What you want to do is click on create pixel. You want to name this, whatever you want to call it, whatever your store is. I'm just going to put test and then install pixel using third party tool, click next, and then click on Shopify, click next, right? And then what it's gonna do is continue to connect to your business account on, on Shopify, okay? So what you wanna do then is you want to head to uh, App Store, Shopify App Store, and you wanna click and find TikTok. This is the one here, you can see here, it's here. It's the free one, it's totally free. You don't have to get any of these paid ones. And once you've done that, you just wanna click on add app. Now, once you're on the TikTok tab, right, like this, it will show you, it will look something similar to this. It will show you an overview. And then what you wanna make sure is that you click on settings, okay, here. Right? Now, once you've done this, what it will do is you have to connect. So if you aren't connected, it will, the button will just say connect. You click on this and then you'll just have to sign in to your account, your TikTok account. Now, once you've signed into your TikTok account, it will give you what your ads, it will show you what accounts, ad accounts that you can connect to. And if you've already created an ad account, then it will just be there anyway. Because when you set up your uh, account, you want to, when you open up a TikTok business account, it already automatically opens you up one ad account. Okay. So you just want to then and just connect that there. Now scrolling down, it will say customer data sharing. And this is where you connect your pixel. Okay, so the pixel that you just created, you will literally just connect it here. So now that we've connected our store to our pixel, what we need to do is validate that it is firing. So in order to do that, what we wanna do is we wanna download this, which is called TikTok Pixel Helper, 
right? It's a Chrome extension, 100% free, and you would just click Add to Chrome. Now, once we've done that, we would then go to our website, and you can see here in the top right-hand corner uh, that this is firing, okay? You can see we've got a page view here. It's all well, all good, and all firing. So then what we want to do is we want to click on, uh, I've set up my pixel in Shopify. Great. Now, to create the campaign, we want to make sure that we are on the tab campaign, okay, at the top. Now, if you're familiar with Facebook, you won't have any issue transitioning over to TikTok. They're very much the same in terms of uh, how they work and how they structure themselves. So in campaign, that's basically the name of your campaign and your campaign type. Ad groups is pretty much just the same as ad sets in Facebook. And then of course, ads are just basically the actual creative, same as Facebook that people will see in their news feeds. So what we need to do is we need to click on campaign and we wanna click on create. Okay, um, now what we wanna do is we wanna click on conversions campaign. I'm just gonna click on start over, conversions campaign. Now if I scroll down, okay, you can uh, name the actual product. So I'm just gonna put test product, okay. Um, now you can use CBO, this is a new feature. I personally haven't done extensive testing with it and there are many different testing strategies that you can do. I'm just gonna show you one, uh, one that you can use inside of this video to get you up and running. So uh, leave that as is and where it says budget, just put no limit. This is just a campaign uh, budget limit. Uh, it's not to do with ad sets. You're gonna be spending and setting that budget at the ad set level. So don't worry about setting that as no limit, okay? So we just wanna leave that at no limit and have this as te pro test product and then just click on continue. Next, what we need to do is we need to create our ad groups, which again, like I've mentioned, are similar to ad sets, where we all literally just put in who we wanna target, where we wanna target, what our interests are, and all those kind of things. So in this one, um, I'm just gonna leave this open for now, okay, because I don't know what I'm targeting as of yet. So what I'm gonna do is you need to click your pixel as well. So test, that is the one that I just set up a moment ago. And we wanna be optimizing for complete payment. Now, complete payment is just purchase as in like on Facebook, but they're just named different. So on TikTok, make sure you are optimizing for purchase. You can, if you've got a brand new pixel, optimize for add to cart if you want to, which is further up the funnel. Uh, but I personally just go straight to purchase because that's what I want people to do, take purchase and complete payment. So you wanna set this to complete payment. Now, if I scroll down, you wanna click on select placement and just go to uh, TikTok because that's where we want things to run, right? Um, now, I personally turn video download off but leave user comments on. And what you can do is you can filter out bad comments. So people may say, you know, got this cheaper on eBay, found this on Amazon, you can get it off Wish, found it on AliExpress and all of that jazz. But you can, like Facebook, block out those comments. In order to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna click on here, click on comments, and then you can block them out doing it that way. So if you didn't know that trick, go and do it. Now, scrolling down, what you wanna do is you want to, I don't tick this on, uh, if you go to audiences, okay, this is where your custom audiences would be, similar to Facebook, where you create them based off your pixel. Again, we haven't got any, um, so we just wanna leave that blank. United States is the country that we wanna go to, and we wanna click on whoever you're targeting, male or female. Now, when it comes to ages, there's this big misconception that people, uh, that the platform itself is only for younger generation, and that you can't make sales for people who are older, in the older demigration old demographic, sorry. However, um, TikTok itself is aging up, like every single platform. When it goes, when it was Facebook just came out, it was just for the young guns, and now it's pretty much just a platform for old people. Um, whereas, you get again, with Instagram, all the young people jump on, and then it goes to the older demographic. And what that's what's happening with TikTok as well. So personally, depending on the product that I'm selling, I most of the time will sometimes just turn off 18 to 24 and just have these here. Again, it's still a massive audience size to go for. And again, if you're selling something a little bit higher ticket, then you may just wanna go for 35 and up as well. Again, depends on the type of product that you're selling and the niche that you are in, okay? Languages, I leave completely uh, blank. Now, this is where we've got uh, interest targeting, okay? Similar to Facebook. And uh, the audience sizes aren't that big, but let's say, for example, we're going for a beauty product, okay? And uh, this one here, we've got this. This is a massive interest. Now, I personally like to have the same as Facebook. I like to go with one interest per ad set. So for this one, if I was just going for uh, beauty and personal care, I would scroll up, okay? And let's say it's a female only product. And uh, let's say it's probably got a younger, no, let's just go uh, like this, okay? So what I would do then is I'll type in US 25 to 65 
and the name there we go and you can put TikTok if you want okay so there we know what we're targeting okay so once we've done that that well, then what you would want to do is you need to t type in your budget so when it comes to your budget you can only do twenty dollars you can't do uh less than that whereas on facebook you can do one dollar budget you can do little one pound fifties and all those kind of things uh however with tiktok they have it at twenty dollars so that's the minimum that you will be spending so what you can do is because there aren't that many interests on uh on TikTok like Facebook, what you can do is just condense them down instead of having, you know, eight ad sets um, at $10, you can condense that down and only do four at $20, okay? So we just put in 20 here. Now, I personally like to go anything from 30 to 40, minimum 30, depends on your kind of budget, okay? Um, and then of course, you just literally just schedule it for whenever you want. Uh, I personally like to go for the next day. So generally sometimes at 6 a.m., is what I like to go for, or you can go at 12. I personally like to go at 6 a.m. ish. There we go. Uh, it's gonna run all day. And uh, we've got our conversion goal at this. You wanna make sure that it is on this, okay? Now, lowest cap, uh, lowest cost and cost cap. So cost cap is similar to Facebook where it comes to man manual bidding in terms of you can bid whatever you wanna bid and try and uh, get more competitive inside of the auctions or lowest cost is just similar similar to Facebook's auto bidding. If you're just starting out, I personally recommend using low, lowest cost so that you can just get some spend because if you are using cost cap, what can happen is that if you set your bid too low, it doesn't spend or some days it will be good, some days it won't. You have to kind of like micromanage your bids. So if you want a uh, good pacing throughout the day, I recommend using lowest cost and I have been using lowest cost and it has been converting. So if we click on next, um, then what we need to do is use our ad creatives, okay? So uh, what I would do on here, now when it comes to creatives, of course, a little tip is what works on TikTok is UGC, so user-generated content. Now, you don't, you can send stuff out to influencers to shoot content for you if you, are, if you are not confident yourself, or alternatively, you can just shoot content yourself. You know, uh, literally pick up your phone and order the product to your house and shoot some stuff yourself. And um, I'll show you one that I literally shot myself as a, as a little test just for a demo. So if we click on library, you will see this one here. And if I just click on confirm, there we go. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, let me try to play it actually. So you can see this here. Hopefully the music isn't playing, but you can see it, just some random product um, that I used to sell back in the day. You can see here that just a really UGC, con uh, UGC content of face front facing with the camera and uh, you know, a call to action at the end. Here, you just basically want to put the name of your store. Okay, so I'm just gonna put store. And then here you'd put, you know, uh, buy now 50% uh, uh, off today or whatever it may be. And then obviously your call to action wants to be shop now. And then whatever your URL is. So I'm just gonna put in a, this right URL here. Okay, now, once you've done that, you just wanna put in a profile picture. Okay, and then after that, we're pretty much good to go with our advert. So once you've done that, congratulations, you've pretty much got your first live dropshipping TikTok ad live on the platform. Pending that, of course, it gets approved via the review. And uh, what you wanna do next, of course, is once you've done your first ad set, what I then like to do is add in, uh, if I'm testing, most of the time it will be four to five different ad sets of different interests, okay? So you can see here on this example, what I've done is I've literally just took skincare, I will then jump into this, okay? And I will choose a different interest. So you would scroll down um, this here, you can see here what I would do is I would scroll down and I would change this. So instead of using just one interest here, I will go on to behaviors and I will type in, see what I can find on here. The closest thing here, we have beauty, outfits, etc. So again, remember one, per ad, ad group, so one per ad group, and you could just go through and have those in there. Stack them out until you have like, um, again, four to five, if your budget allows for that, and then have it run. And that's how you can get your first TikTok ads up and running in a matter of minutes. So hopefully you got some value from this video. In two weeks time, it is my birthday. So every year for 24 hours only, 
I do a 50% off discount for my Econ Beast 2.0 course and private mastermind. I'll drop a link down below in the pinned comments for the waitlist so that you can get notified as soon as that goes live. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and a comment down below. I will be replying to as many comments as I can. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter so that we can connect on there. But that is it for this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.